What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna do a unboxing and a quick review on a tiny but a very expensive uh, toy I just recently purchased. It's called a Infisense thermal camera powered by infrared technology or infrared imaging technology. box is very small and uh, just open it we have some a few instructions and warranty stuff small case because the camera itself is very small you, you better have some case to carry it or you might lose it eventually some cleaning towers and here are the sensor here are the sensor you can see it's, it's a very tiny camera with a huge sensor showing right here the port is type C so good for most of the modern phones If you open up the small manual, you will see some code you can scan from your phone to download the app. It's not on the Google Store. It's, uh, so you have to download the APK file for Android or something else for iOS. I already downloaded them and uh, let's take this, attach it onto the phone. So, so you have to use the screen of your phone to look at the uh, in situ images from the or videos from the sensor. So the sensor is gonna facing against the screen. Just like this. It's asking some access granted. Now you can see I'm actually looking at the, the table, nothing here. So if you turn on the options, you can see you can choose different uh, colors representing the temperatures. Currently we are using uh, white and uh, black, which is not very obvious. You can only see temperatures right here. So we have iron red, rainbows, red hot, hot iron, or black hot. I personally think Rainbow 3 is going to be the best use that the, the cold one is in blue and the hot one is going to be in red. For example, I'm going to place my hand underneath it. You can see the distinct difference from my warm hand and the cold tables. You can even see if I use my hand to touch the table you will see some residue heat from it very interesting we can either take um, photos or videos out of it so this is very useful for the, the purpose one of the most important reason I purchased this uh, infrared thermal camera is if you watched my recent video about the, the crucial uh, NVMe SSD performance uh, problem that has a huge speed drop if I transfer a, a, a large portion of data into it and uh, the poor temperature control for this uh, drive is gonna lead to a very huge speed drop. I so some expert is uh, blaming me like I was not offering detailed information about that. They are saying the temperature re recorded from the software is not great. 
I admit that's true, but uh, I was doing a practical test everybody should do when they got a new drive and loaded a lot of data into it. The performance is really bad, and uh, that's the truth. So, uh, but I, I really uh, understand the, the statement that uh, the temperature from the software is not good enough to look at. So I that's the most important purpose I actually bought this one to help me monitor my temperatures in the future for my hardware just for fun. Um, there are a few other uh, reasons we can uh, make use of this small thermal camera. I'm going to talk about that in the next few sessions. Another cool uh, feature for this software is you can actually um, now you can only see the in the screen that uh, the imaging or the video from the camera, right? But if you touch the button right here, you can see the actual looking on the screen as well. Um, I think that's a very good use that help you identify the object or uh, the source of the heat as a, what they look like actually. Very helpful um, feature out of the app. And also you can do landscape or horizontal shooting as you wish. I believe the temperature showing right here is the temperature for the uh, thermal camera itself. We can definitely uh, enable the temperature reading from the sensor itself as well. Uh, I'm still working on that uh, to, to really understand why I have some flashing when I enable this one. So in the next few days I'm gonna really make use of the all the functions from the app. Now I'm gonna load this and look at out my current computer build and the temperatures of it. Here is my desktop. So I have two intake fans on the front, two exhaust fans on the top, and one exhaust fan on the back. You can clearly see that the intake has much lower temperature in blue and my CPU is right here, my GPU is right here. Currently this computer is not in load so you can clearly see that uh, most of the heat is circulating and uh, condensing at the top and the back fans right here. Interesting. Another good use I know for the thermal camera is to check if there, there are some uh, heat leaking from your home or house. You can clearly see that the blue one is the window that has much lower temperature and uh, they're actually picking up the heat from the home. All those uh, windows are the leaking point for the heat actually. The rest part is pretty much warm, I believe. Here is my another um, computer build, actually a uh, Alienware with uh, 3 RTX 3060 Ti mining. You can clearly see that it's much warmer. I had a fan actually uh, putting the airflow through the card, so they are pretty uh, good cooling solution now, but you can clearly see the the one loaded on the motherboard has much higher temperature. 
compared to those actually located outside the case. And I had a, a pre-installed 120 millimeter EIO that is also performed as a exhaust fan on the top. One more interesting use for this uh, thermal camera. I'm not talking about some uh, illegal stuff. I'm talking about uh, the ability for this one to check some private cameras if they are installed without a notification, like uh, in hotels or some other place you are lodging or you're just staying for a, a, a short time and the people purposely install a very tiny um, camera that you won't uh, uh, notice and uh, take some privacy and take some videos out of you and this one is gonna help you find out those spots on the walls as well so so we have briefly unboxed and uh, reviewed this little um, thermal camera this particular one has a 256 by 192 resolution so it's much better than any other product available now in US market with the same specifications and uh, this one has a pro and uh, easy mode for different uh, purposes for different purposes and uh, you can take videos or pictures out of it very useful so the next step I'm gonna use this one to check the temperature for my computer build I recently did um, with another video that uh, so there was something I I was a little bit disappointed that I, I always want to upgrade is the CPU cooling solution is the default uh, air cooler and I also <laughs> get a finger touch on the pre-loaded uh, paste so the cooling performance for my um, CPU is not great I'm gonna replace that with my uh, newly purchased uh, AIO solution and I'm gonna use this little box this little uh, nice thermal camera to do a comparison before the installation of the AIO and afterwards and also it's gonna be a great tool to check the airflow from my computer build as well pretty much of it I'll keep you updated about the new findings of this little uh, nice thermal camera in the future thanks for watching